For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? This is Saber Wolf Finding 4 for our final match with the Heldra Gudra V-Star deck that I've made. It was an okay deck, but I don't think it was as effective or as strong as Tyranidar. Charizard, of course, definitely even Scissor. Even Scissor worked out better for me, but I mean, it was just something to test out the get a card with. I think with different attackers in the future, she'll find her pairing you know, a good partner to work with. I, I do think it's just a really nice energy acceleration card. It's generic, it's a supporter card. You know, the skipping your attack effect isn't as bad as if it was, would end your turn immediately. Um, so I think it's just a, a, a decent card. It just needs to find the right Pokemon. You know, Gudra, it made the most sense to me. It is a pretty good tank Pokemon, but people can play around you know it's a tank attack and that's really the problem you know when you got a lot of players running four bosses orders in the deck I don't know how they do it but there's ways to just play around obviously Gudra and uh, that's why it it was a great card it was a good deck but it never became on the level of fusion strike fucking new let's just say that all right now I'm playing up against a Solrock Luna Lunatone deck from the Pokemon Go set. It was, it was kind of a cool deck, regular Pokemon deck as well. The pairing between Lunatone and Solrock as old times, they work together. Now, opening up with Klefki here pretty much shuts down this entire deck. No basic Pokemon with abilities and I made sure to get the second one down just in case he would do something like Escape Rope or something. This pretty much ensures that He's not going to have any abilities for a long ass time. I'm just going to power up my Pokemon, taking my time. And uh, he's going to need to do manual attachments, switch, and then kill the Klefki that way. I mean, that's just pretty much it. Or just use Baza's orders or something to pick somebody else. He cannot use Lunatone or Solrock actually with the active Klefki. So putting in the work even against regular Pokemon here. That's pretty good. Now, with a fast setup, Klefki or no Klefki, I uh, wouldn't be very scared of this deck because we block a lot of damage. But, I mean, you do have to be a little bit careful because uh, uh, if they start getting their energies and then start doing tricks to get even more energies and then they start pulling your dudes, they can be pretty dangerous. I mean, uh... There's times where if you let this deck, it's pretty nasty. But the damage is sort of fixed in a way. They can only get so many energies per turn on the Lunatone with the Soul Rocks. Uh, but, I mean, either way, with Klefki, I'm messing him up a lot. Alright. So now I think I'm going to go into the offensive finally. I mean, we could have just stayed there. But I'm just going to get the drop on this guy. Get a kill on the Soul Rock. He's going to have to recover that. He's going to have to play those down again. And right now, if I just continue getting manual attachments turn after turn, I should be good. Uh, he played down the um, uh, Pact of the Peak, which is going to affect us. But I'm going to make sure I just get rid of that when I use my attack, when I play the Crystal Cave and get that healing. Going to time things right. That's the point. So we get the first prize, we have the lead. Gudra is going to be blocking a lot of damage. He's going to want to be pulling turn after turn if he wants to get far in this game. And that's not always possible. So a bunch of energies on the Lunatone. He can use Soul Rocks to get a few more. So, I mean, during the time I was setting up, he was getting those manual attachments. So he, it wasn't like he was doing nothing. So he's going to be able to do a little bit of high damage right now, even with the block. But then as I'm getting the kills, you know, he's not going to have the same extra boost. Initial boost. So four energies. Making it five. And uh, making it six. Okay, so you get your first big attack here. With those extra energy attachments you got at the start. And it's just 130 damage. It's not even enough for 
a two hit KO with that. I mean, yeah, so we're gonna put our stadium here. Gonna get some healing. I'm not even gonna, I don't even need to bother with the V star power. It's just he's not even close to just getting a kill. And I didn't even have Serena down to just get healing. So the Klefkis right now, they are gonna be a little bit of a, a wasted Pokemon there. They served me well in the beginning, but now we don't get any healing out of them. But if my dudes do start dying, then I'll, I'll have space for Serena or Ricorio. So Ultra Ball. Let's make sure we get the V Stars. I don't want him to get any easy, easy ways to kill my dudes. Gonna need to do 270, my friend, even if you pull not 220. So Rolling Iron, there goes the Lunatone. That's another guy down. And uh, yeah, it's one sided slaughter. I mean, against these regular Pokemon, Gudra is pretty effective. I know because I struggled against it as well. When I used uh, Claydol, one from Silver Tempest, no, I think it was from Silver Tempest, but no supporter cards, you get energy acceleration. Kind of cool, but difficult to work as always. And uh, he's going for the Path of the Peak once again. That's fine, dude. I got counter stadiums as well for days. I mean, I hope we do see them. But, I mean, I think after this attack, if I see a stadium, I'm using the power. Uh, so, five energies. It's getting that max value, but just 100 damage. So, right now, we top deck the stadium, just what I need. And I'm pretty much just going to go for it. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity now to go for the V-Star power. Mass heal. I mean, I can only do this trick once, but it still means I negated two of this guy's attacks. And go for the E or No. Um, not going to draw too many cards. I don't affect him that much either. I mean, I guess he gets one fewer card. But we're looking good. I got the lead. He's not really doing much. He's losing resources. Gudra V-Stars. I got them ready for days at this point. And... I, I really don't see how he can win the game, but I mean, he's not quitting, I'll give him that. Other players would have quit by now. But uh, I guess he's just seeing, okay, you used up your power, you're playing your stadiums, eventually I'll get to you. But I really don't think so, I mean... You would just, you would just run out of gas at this point, or there's just going to be one turn where you miss on seeing like a switching outlet, or recovering Soul Rock or Lunatone, and then... You're toast either way. So he's going for a lot of energies once again. Making a response as always. And uh, goes for the boss's orders. Yeah, so that's that's your play. That's the play that's going to give him the edge. So 180 damage. I miss out on the defense. So that's unfortunate. Now... What I can do here, it's going to be a bit shitty, but uh, I think it's our only play. I can use the Crystal Cave to get a little bit of healing. And I can use Greta to get energies, the last two energies in the deck, damn. Put them on the Gudra V-Star and basically retreat to a Klefki. That's going to make his ability to do useless too for next turn. Just so that he kills this thing, it's not really something he wants to kill because it's going to put him at odd prizes anyway. Um, so, no abilities as long as this card is active. So he needs to use like another boss's orders for a play. And he does have Serena, goddammit. Uh, it's useful against my specific card, a V Pokemon. So he picks on the dude with the energies this time. And uh, I think he's going to be able to just get the 1A KO right now. Damn. He's going to put a lot of energies on the dude. So it's getting a little bit dangerous now. Looks like he, it did pay off for him not quitting. He's making a comeback, coming back in the game. It's not going to be enough still. I'm going to kill this thing and I'm going to get Serena down with that and more healing now. 
um, I'm going to be pretty good. The only problem is the energies. I hope he doesn't realize I don't have any energies left. It's just this one on the Gudra V-Star. And Eon No is going to fuck him up a little bit too. Let's go for it. Hurts me more, but... Okay. Oricorio, Miriam, fine. And another dude down. No more tricks. You're going to have to promote somebody. You got to switch or you got to put a manual attachment. And... Um, he's... I think he's low on resources too by this point. Looking good, looking good. Uh, but yeah, I pretty much used all of my energies. God damn, how did this happen? So Manly retreats, goes for the Lunatone, but I mean, you're not going to be doing damage. Just four energies, I'm going to block 80 damage. What, is he going to do like 50 damage or something? Uh, yeah, you should know it's over by now. I'm going to be killing this thing. I'll need to get one more prize. I negate the entire damage at this point. And uh, the other damage on the other Gudra is going to be pointless too. So just 70 damage. And he decided to scoop. I guess it makes sense at this point. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a yeah.